handel van Stobi, een van de wijnhuizen hier in Macedonië, nog heel jong, sinds 2009 pas aan het produceren. Um, hoeveel wijn, welke wijn maakt u? What, what kind of wine do you make? Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a warm welcome to Macedonia and of course to Stobi Winery. Uh, we, here we make a uh, huge variety of uh, wines, starting from uh, white wines. Uh, we pay a lot of attention to our local cultivars, such as Zhilovka, Zhupljanka, Rkaciteli, Smederevka, which is hard to pronounce. But of course, then we have also international varieties, like uh, Chardonnay, Muscatotonel, Italian Riesling, Rhine Riesling. Uh, from the Reds, our leading variety is uh, Vranets, which is local indigenous uh, variety, and we are very proud of uh, the Vranets because it represents not only the Stobi type in terms of red wine making, but also the type of Macedonian wines in uh, general. It's the local, it's the local uh, grapes, exactly. Uh, then, of course, we have international varieties like Pinot Noir, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, Syrah, etc. How, how much do you make every year? Uh, every year we make uh, 4.5 million liters. Uh, this is uh, based on our uh, production capacity of the winery, which is projected on uh, our private vineyards. We have 600 hectares of vineyards in total, from which 35% is uh, white uh, grapes and 65% is uh, red grapes. But uh, despite this uh, area of uh, 600 hectares, we have invested in planting uh, and replanting in uh, new vineyards. And for this purpose, we have bought uh, rootstocks, which are coming from the worldwide uh, known company called Rochedo from Italy. And uh, the rootstocks are characterized with genetic predisposition of very low yield of only uh, 8 ton per hectare, which uh, translated means only 5,000 liters of uh, wine per uh, hectare and uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because from bad quality of the grapes you can only make uh, bad uh, wines but from good quality of the grapes you can make either quality or premium wine and you can make as well bad wine depending on the technology and, and the wine making activity used. Can you tell me what's the philosophy of your company? Uh, our uh, philosophy of the company is to be uh, leaders in the winemaking activity in uh, Macedonia <clears throat> and we want to be, uh, to because uh, the winery is very young still, uh, it was established in 2008, 2009 was our first harvest, so it means that uh, 2010 we have for the first time shown onto the Macedonian and the international markets of uh, wine and uh, when we first uh, shown on the market we have uh, started, I would uh, easily say, smaller revolution evolution in terms of uh, in terms of the wines that we have offered to the market uh, in terms of our uh, strategy what's your strategy our strategy is to be best buy in uh, every category it means that to be uh, to have uh, the best uh, money for uh, value for our uh, wines and the reason why we are doing this is because in Macedonia the average consumption per capita is very low it's only 7 liter uh, 7 to 8 liter per capita and there are several factors which are influencing this uh, but we have located uh, the most important factor in terms of the price policy of the of the wineries because uh, the wine uh, which was uh, exiting from the wineries was overestimated. It, it means with uh, uh, with a uh, high price which a normal consumer cannot afford it. Therefore, we wanted to have. Uh, to bring back the wine to the average consumer, to the to bring back the wine to the Macedonian tables, and on the one hand and on the other side, uh, we don't we didn't want it, the consumer to have a compromise with the quality, and uh, of course we can do this because uh, we have our private vineyards and uh, because all the production starting from uh, from the vineyard until the bottle is our own, so we can make uh, this and uh, of course uh, we are doing it. Um. You said we will want to bring it back to the Macedonian table. Can we in Holland also buy it? Yes, of course, uh, you can buy it. Uh, we are uh, very proud with uh, our uh, so far uh, success because, uh, as I said, we are a young winery. And uh, But in these uh, two years while we are on the markets, we have managed to achieve uh, great success internationally. So we have uh, we have a lot of export of our wines, uh, around, uh, around about 70% uh, is for export uh, and of course it is exported in the uh, Netherlands uh, our uh, through exclusively through our importer there uh, Schermer uh, uh, wine Mr. Paul Bloom 
and of course our wine is also exported to the so far is exported to the Czech Republic to Poland to Russia to Slovenia uh, this year we have started uh, to export our wines to United States just recently uh, we won uh, another export in uh, Canada we are finishing our negotiation uh, with uh, China with some uh, very serious importers in China so that means you are growing uh, it means that uh, every year we are uh, constantly uh, growing in terms of uh, selling of our uh, of our wines as locally and uh, internationally and also we have uh, managed to achieve great success of export of our wines into the neighboring countries like Bulgaria, Serbia, uh, Albania and uh, Kosovo. Can tourists also come to your company to see the process? Uh, yes, of course, uh, the tourists can come. Uh, just uh, recently, six months ago, we have finished our investment cycle and uh, our last uh, investment was done in terms of uh, our wine tourism uh, department for which uh, purposes we have uh, built uh, this spectacular uh, barrel room that we are standing now here. Uh, and of course, we have uh, built uh, two uh, wine tasting rooms and one uh, wine restaurant, which is open 24 hours a day, and uh, everybody can come without prior uh, notice. And uh, so far, in the last six months, while uh, when we have uh, done this uh, uh, investment in the wine tourism, we are uh, very fast developing this uh, area because uh, many tourists uh, has already come because uh, the wine tourism. Uh, uh, is uh, one market where uh, is constantly growing and people want to come to the countryside to explore something uh, new, uh, something that you cannot find it into the big uh, cities. And of course we have already signed uh, uh, contracts with some uh, tour operators from uh, Slovenia, from Austria, from Serbia. And uh, we have uh, every, uh, it's normally during the weekend, we have a lot of uh, buses that are coming that uh, wine connoisseurs and wine lovers can come to uh, spend a wonderful afternoon in our Stobie winery. Perfect. Um, one question about the harvest of this year. It's, it's less. Can you tell me something about it? Yes, uh, the harvest uh, and uh, the wine, uh, therefore, it is one very unique product because every year varies one to another and it has its own uh, specificity. Uh, in terms of uh, this year, uh, the harvest, uh, the quantities of the available grapes will be uh, around about 30% uh, less than what was uh, the last year. How come? And this is not only the case in Macedonia, but also in Slovenia, in Germany, in Bulgaria, Romania, uh, northern part of Italy, southern part of Italy. And this is uh, due to uh, several uh, factors. The first uh, factor was uh, the ice frost uh, during the winter time. Then it was uh, the water stress caused by the excessive uh, daily temperature, high temperature. And uh, what is uh, our biggest concern is uh, uh, for the future is the lack of uh, available water for uh, irrigation. In terms of the quality of uh, this year, uh, uh, we, we expect to have a very good quality of the, of the red grapes because they will be characterized with a very high polyphenolic profile, which uh, automatically means wines which are with a uh, full body, rich in extract, while for the whites uh, is again the same, but uh, due to the excessive uh, temperatures, we, it is uh, slightly to be expected to have a little bit less pronounced aroma than the last year. Does that mean that the wine next year will be, the price will be higher? Uh, we are certainly hoping, uh, hoping for, uh, for this issue and it is expected that the price will slightly increase. Uh, on the one hand, they will increase uh, because of the uh, less uh, available grapes on the one hand and on the other hand, uh, with, uh, we are witnessing that every day all the, uh, the increase of the prices of all the production inputs, which uh, then of course uh, have an uh, effect on the final price uh, of the bottle of wine. Last question, you're standing in a beautiful place. How cold is it here? Uh, here, uh, uh, because this is an uh, oak uh, department, uh, here uh, the temperature is uh, 16 to 18 Celsius with only 2 Celsius uh, uh, variation during summer and winter. And uh, the humidity is constantly kept on 80%. And this is uh, done uh, on purpose because this is an ideal condition for the wine to age in uh, oak. Uh, because uh, here we have uh, around uh, 300,000 liters in uh, oak. Uh, from which, as you can see, two-thirds are in big oval cask and uh, one-third is classical uh, barrels of 225 liters. When will this open? Uh, 
Uh, this uh, wine will be ready for, to be bottled. This uh, depends strongly on, the, uh, on terms of uh, what uh, wine uh, is uh, for aging. For instance, uh, we had uh, Chardonnay from the last vintage, which was uh, bottled and sold in uh, February, while the remaining uh, is uh, red wines, which uh, they will age here a bit, uh, starting from 12 up to 36 months, depending on the wine style that we want to achieve. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.